One of the leading contenders for the heavyweight title just failed on two occasions to get the title off, world title off Wayne Bridges. And his opponent, Marty Jones, the light heavyweight champion of Great Britain, who is now going up very fast towards the heavyweight division. Two submissions or a knockout to decide this one. Easily identifiable. Pete Roberts there in the pitch black trunks. From Chatham, Super Destroyer. And that's him with the against the joint arm lock on Marty Jones. Of Oldham. Both fairly fair haired and they're a bit alike when they're standing up. Uh, if you can't see the trunks, I think you'll be able to identify them now. The, the pitch black trunks of Roberts showing up. And also Roberts wears elbow protectors, as usual. Nice Marty Jones, oh, well, there's the perfect answer to a counter there. Toe and ankle now to Jones. using his left knee, the side of Roberts' knee there, to lay on the toe and ankle a bit harder. Just a minute to go in this first round. Remember, only three-minute rounds on this contest. Marty Jones reaches across in the double interlock hands, hoping that he'll get those shoulder blades down for three. No chance, of course, at all. This time... Up from the bridge position by Roberts. Shows his power. Nicely out. Roberts has only got a 10 pound weight advantage over uh, Marty Jones. who would have to train down a lot to defend his light heavyweight title these days. But he can do it. And so can Roberts. Roberts might go down a uh, uh, weight bracket too one day but more about that later <laughs> Marty Jones of uh, Oldham the light heavyweight champion of Great Britain this is the man who might stay up in this upper bracket because now he's got a chance really to stay in the Mike Barino title held for so long, the mid heavyweight. Second round, round two. Round two, five to go, no score. Marty Jones versus Pete Roberts. Roberts in the black trunks on the left with the elbow protectors. Side headlock finish. Jones trying to counter it with the both hands coming around the head, but didn't uh, really connect in the headlock he was after. So still the side headlock switched. Caught him, caught him well on the way back. Going to the roll again, Roberts, still the side headlock on. Go. 
Roberts again trying to counter that reached headlock, but it doesn't work. Everything that Marty Jones tries, Roberts just holds on harder, but this time he's got away. Body check, Roberts wins that. Follow down again, that hip roll, beautifully done, side headlock finish again. He does it so quickly. Just a minute to go, round two. in hard there, caught Roberts beautifully off the ropes there with Jones. Takes him over with a beautiful cross press follow up and Roberts in trouble for a second but threw, used all his energy to throw him off and got him away. Half a minute. Double interlock agreed. Jones on the attack. And Armley was against the joint at then. Going for the forearm, but couldn't reach properly. Yes, that time he did. So the almost on the bell of round two, the forearm uppercuts are starting. Well, let's hope they don't continue these forearm smashes because with two wrestlers of this class, you want to see wrestling, not the forearm jab fight. Pete Roberts shaking hands with him. Martin Jones there. He goes to his correct corner this time. We'll follow him over. Pete Roberts, one of the leading contenders for the heavyweight title of the world. Second down, round three. Pete Roberts is a man who might easily train down to the 14 stone 13 upper limit, which of course was Mike Marino's title for so long, the mid heavyweight championship of Great Britain. He, he's got uh, nowhere against Wayne Bridges on a couple of kids, three I think actually, the last year, against Wayne Bridges for the heavyweight title, so at the world, so he might easily train down. He can do it to the 14 13 mid heavyweight bracket. He's got to go down 12 pounds to do it, but he seems to be able to get it off when necessary. Tremendous throw by Jones, and that's why Roberts wears elbow protectors. That's him. Jones can't wait to get him to the center of the room forearm and then the butt. Great, great posting. Tremendous posting. Now Robert's really getting thrown about here. He better do something about this a bit quick. Nice switch. But Jones ready for it. Great backdrop, great backdrop by Roberts, and Jones didn't land too well from that one. All the way down on his back, couldn't get the feet down first. Roberts goes in for the kill as he hopes, and another backdrop beautifully over the top, cross press, and now Jones in trouble. This could be Roberts first, it is. Just under two minutes of round three, Roberts the first fall. 155. And in one minute, 55 seconds of round three, the opening fall of the contest goes to the blue corner, Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts. Super Destroyer, a name that he got in Japan when he was wrestling out there, which he does frequently for every year. In fact, he's going again soon, I believe. Pete Roberts, when he was with the tag wrestling teams out there, his name became Super Destroyer. Second down, round four. Halfway through the bout, round four, three to go, and Roberts in the black trunks on the back right there, leading Marty Jones, one four to nil. But knowing Jones, he's never beaten. 
right until the final bell. He'll be there fighting. Does not like trailing at all. That butt did some damage. Walk straight into the back elbow, Jones, off the ropes. John saw that one coming. Robert's left knee gets it. And now watch Jones go for that left leg if he can. But Robert switches. Oh, walks straight in. Straight into that foot. Jones going all the way, and he's done his left right knee now. <clears throat> Double arm. Beautifully over the top. Further shoulder press. Jones the equalizer. Surely, yes, it is. But he's hurt his right leg in the act. Minute and a quarter of round four and the equalizer to Marty Jones. As quick as that. And round four, the equalizer ball goes to Marty Jones. And Jones grinning and Roberts grinning, both really enjoying their fast action, full action wrestling, which they always do. They love it when some their opponent has got the same style as they have, and so do the crowd. Well, two rounds to go, and anybody's guess now who can win. Second round, round four. Sorry, round five. Round five, two to go. And one fall each. Now, Marty Jones, the lighter by 10 pounds. The British light heavyweight title holder would just love to beat Pete Roberts here this afternoon. If he can do it, the promoters will have to think on the possibilities of going for titles in the mid heavyweight bracket. Which, of course, has been vacant ever since the unfortunate death of the great Mike Marino. Roberts, on the other hand, must remain one of the leading contenders for the Wayne Bridges world title, if he possibly can. And to be defeated by the light heavyweight champion is not going to do his uh, chances much good. Marty Jones with a stripe down the side of his trunks there, going for the knee drop. Obviously working on Robert's back now. Again the knee drop. Caught him then. Got, him, got up a bit quicker than Jones expected. He walked into that one and then he dropped again, the third. And that back really must be taking it now. As Jones follows up with the back weakness as often as he can here. Less than a minute to go now in the fifth. And penultimate round. Oh, a little swinging up a cut there. And another. And a third. The third did it. but it didn't quite work for him and Robert's in trouble here in a folding press and Jones got a chance but he couldn't quite get the balance it's the nearest things Jones has come yet and now it's a chance to Roberts on a double leg Nelson but Jones quite easily rolled out of that one just eight seconds and hardly worth starting another move here but of course Pete Roberts didn't know that and goes straight in an attempted sliding grapevine there which just about came off before the bat. Well, both have tremendous respect for each other as you can tell in between each round. Both men going flat out 
And in this last round, believe me, they will not give an inch. One fall each. Second down, the sixth and last round. Shake hands. So the referee come out. Wrestling. The final round, six, one fall each. The next one, the next score really matters to both of them. Start with the posting by Roberts. Follow up cross press, but I don't think he'll hold it from there. Tries again. No chance. He hasn't got the arms or the legs held. Jones catches it well, goes for the holder, but into the ropes. Unfortunate. Jones and, and, and Roberts holds fire a little bit as he walks straight into another and he's in trouble. Jones sees it, goes for the crutch holding slam, followed on cross press, and he might have it here. Gets a count of two, and almost the, the referee's hand went down for the third count. So near for Jones there. Switch by Roberts nicely. Body check, and it's just a question of which one gets up first here. Jones is up, Roberts getting up, but it's slow, up at nine, just about makes it, but weak. Flying tackle there by Jones, over the top, cross press, and Roberts in real trouble now, but manages to get his man off. Goes for the double leg, but it's a double arm there from Roberts underneath, and it's a folding press, oh. So near by both men and both. Really something to watch this. off the ropes and Roberts in trouble now but no he's back very quickly in the, the butt 30 seconds to go <laughs> better be really quick if we could get a result here crutch hold and slam by Roberts this time followed on cross press can he hold it no he can't gets a count of two crutch hold again by Roberts slam a throwaway slam this time walks in too near Drop kick from the floor, 10 seconds, eight, seven. Folding press by Roberts, five seconds. He's got to do it this time or not, it's too late. It's a draw, one poorly, but what a contest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the sixth and final round. And both wrestlers gaining one fall apiece. The referee's decision is a draw. Your appreciation for Marty Jones and Pete Robert. Yes, and great appreciation was and very much deserved. And with that draw, one fall each after the full distance. It's goodbye from all of us here at Bridlington. We hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good week. Till next week.